Hello guys, hope you are all okay. You are all enjoying your life and you are also watching ultrasound videos. Again, welcome back to Dr. Arshad Nadeem Awan ultrasound teaching video. Today my topic of discussion is pelvic congestion syndrome. Pelvic congestion syndrome is a term which uh, quite often used uh, in the gynae uh, section and especially in the gynae setting. So what does actually it means? Uh, and how we can appreciate on the ultrasound imaging. On the ultrasound imaging, uh, pelvic congestion syndrome is uh, considered to be dilatation of the pelvic vein, dilatation of the ovarian vein with the reflux, with the varices, and with the reduced uh, flow, reduced return flow. So that would be considered as a pelvic congestion. In the pelvic, pelvic veins, there would be dilatation, there will be reduced flow, there will be re reflux, and there would be varices. Uh, on the uh, history, the patient will complain of uh, pain while on uh, being on long standing condition, and uh, patient will feel relaxed well, while lying down. So this is the symptoms of the pelvic congestion syndrome. However, for the diagnosis, uh, venography remains the standard for the diagnosis of the pelvic vein congestion. But to some extent on the ultrasound imaging, you can appreciate that the pelvic vein or the ovarian vein would be dilated up to five to 10 millimeter. There will also be varices. Uterine vein engorgement can also be seen. Uh, ovarian plexus, tortuous and dilated pelvic uh, uh, venous plexus could be seen. There would also be varices there will be vulvovaginal and thigh venous uh, uh, varicosities can also be seen. Dilated arcuate vein can also be seen. So these are all the venous system would be ultimately enlarged when you put the Doppler uh, signals on the ultrasound imaging and you will appreciate that surrounding the um, uterine area, there will be dilated veins, there will be varices. So this would be called as uh, pelvic ovarian or pelvic congestion syndrome. How we will appreciate on the ultrasound imaging, how it will appear on the CT and MRI images and on particularly on the ultrasound. So uh, let's start watching these images and it will help you to diagnose pelvic congestion syndrome. This is a transvaginal scan and on this transvaginal scan you can appreciate well-defined uterus. However, the fundus of the uterus is not visible in view uh, so you can appreciate the right and the uh, uh, anterior and the posterior wall beside this uh, you can appreciate the endometrial cavity as well here at the area of the cervix you can appreciate multiple tortuously dilated cystic structures these structures are actually dilated veins and this is a case of pelvic congestion so pelvic congestion will appear in this fashion if you would see multiple dilated structure just around the uterus or near the uh, cervical re region or posterior to cervical region so do not confuse with other cystic abnormalities like many of the clinician might think this could be any adnexal cystic or complex lesion so what important uh, ac action is there you have to put the doppler signal on it if you put the Doppler signal on it, Doppler will confirm whether this structure has any vascularity or this uh, structure has any blood flow within it. That would clearly define whether these structures are um, related to any other pathological processes or these are truly veins or vascular structures. So uh, you have to do the Doppler scanning for that. Now, as I mentioned earlier that uh, uh, the previous images, uh, it was uh, grayscale image, images and uh, there was no Doppler signals put on. So that's why it was a bit confusing that what this uh, cystic lesions are. So here now the Doppler signals indicate uh, that these uh, are dilated, uh, tortuously dilated vessels. The second thing is these are also considered as uterine vessels, engorgement or ovarian vascular engorgement so you can appreciate this there is a turbulent flow within all these veins and this is a clear example of pelvic congestion what you need to do is you have to write that uh, transvaginal scan is performed 
mention about the uterine structure or the ovarian structure whatever you have seen on and then mention that multiple dilated cystic structures are seen in the vicinity of the cervix or posterior uterine wall take the measurement of the largest one so you have to take the largest measuring blah 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 whatever and then uh, after the Doppler uh, signals it shows increased vascularity turbulent blood flow so these were cystic uh, these were uh, vascular structures uh, consistent with dilated uterine and ovarian um, veins however there was no intraluminal thrombosis seen in any of these vessels the findings are keeping in uh, keeping in view with uh, pelvic congestion so this would be your report and this would explain your uh, diagnosis as pelvic congestion. Uh, another transvaginal image and on this transvaginal image again you can appreciate the uterus. Uterus is clearly visible. But the one thing worth noting here around the cervical area there is vascularity with the turbulent blood flow and posterior to the uterine wall can also be seen multiple cystic structures so these are all vessels so these are vessels uh, near the cervical area posterior to the uterine wall and these are uterine veins engorgement and these are this could be ovarian vein engorgement usually arcuate vein can also be dilated here so you have to look for all that area and you know the anatomy so apply the anatomical uh, word, whatever you have seen there and confirm that but in short if in case of that you do not exactly know as because on the ultrasound imaging sometime you cannot confirmly say which uh, um, I mean link is and which branch is this simply says that uh, vascular structures at the um, cervical area at the posterior aspect of the uterus could be seen with increase in turbulent blood flow uh, must mention that there is no intravascular thrombosis because that is important you have to uh, mean uh, exclude whether there is pulmonary vein thrombosis or not which is a very important thing and which could be seen only in postpartum uh, patient but in some other PID and other infections uh, port, uh, pelvic uh, oh, sorry ovarian vein thrombosis can also be seen so you have to exclude that on your report after writing all these description and then mention that features are suggestive of um, pelvic congestion. Here uh, to show you another slide of pelvic congestion and familiarize you with the uh, with the appearances here you can appreciate again this is a transvaginal scan and on this transvaginal scan particularly the slower segment of the uterus uh, where cervix is located has been shown. On this area you can appreciate uh, dilated uh, vascular structure filled with the turbulent fluid with turbulent flow on Doppler so this can easily be seen here you cannot miss if you put the Doppler signal on it if without Doppler it would be seen as a tortuously dilated cystic lesion and you may confuse with whether these are uh, small uh, cystic or uh, this is inconclusive report because a typical cystic lesion I haven't seen this before so but when you put the Doppler signal on it it will clear everything and it will show you that these are the vascular structure these are varices these are dilated veins it might be from the uh, uterine vein engorgement it may be due to ovarian vein engorgement the one important thing is you have to exclude out the thrombosis as well because if in some of them you have to look for every one of them you never know that which uh, uh, vein is occupied by the thrombus so therefore a complete survey is very important look for every single area and confirm it whether it is uh, whether the lumen of the veins are open or not uh, sometime you have to use a doppler sometime you have to use a gray scale and thoroughly survey and swipe all around and look for whether there is thrombosis or not if there is no thrombosis you must mention that so in the report at the end you mentioned that features are consistent with pulmonary congestion and there is no evidence of ovarian vein or vascular thrombosis. For better understanding of uh, pelvic congestion this uh, contrast enhanced CT has been shown. Uh, this is an axial image of contrast enhanced CT and it is showing the pelvic area. 
In the pelvic area, the uterus is clearly visible. These red arrows are indicating dilated uh, uh, contrast fill veins and these are uterine veins and uh, ovarian vein. However, there is no thrombus visible in it as the lumen of the veins and uh, are clearly visible and contrast can be seen flowing through and there is no evidence of any thrombosis. So, this how the uh, pelvic congestion will look on the CT scan images. For that, sometime if uh, the CT is non-contrast, you cannot easily pick the pelvic congestion. But uh, if you put the contrast in, so it will go through all the veins and easily uh, the vein would project itself and you can you would be able to pick the point so on the on the serial imaging sometime the patient might not be booked for the same reason patient might have some other complaints but in generally that would be an incidental finding and which is very important because it explains the reasons of the pelvic pain because the patient will be having a pain so this will explain the reason so you have to mention this on your reporting and sometime this may be an incidental finding or sometime the gynecologist will intentionally advise the pelvic uh, um, CT scan or sometime MRI to pick the pelvic congestion features. Yes guys this was about pelvic congestion syndrome. I am sure it was quite easy to pick you on the ultrasound imaging because around the uterus if you see lot of varices, lot of fluid filled venous structures with reflux so you would confidently uh, diagnose this uh, and label it as a pelvic congestion syndrome. So hopefully this video, uh, this video would be uh, very useful for you for your clinical practice. If in case of any doubt or any question, just drop me a message and I will get back to you. Take great care of yourself and keep watching my videos with other uh, new informative videos. We'll see each other. Till then, take great care of uh, yourself. Bye-bye.